For those of you who are taking Righty One, I wanted to spend a few minutes this morning providing some different examples or ways that you can reword your topic sentence, giving you some alternatives when trying to extract from the thesis statement different keywords and providing examples of which of those keywords would serve as the best subject of your topic sentence. So the thesis statement we'll be looking at today reads as follows. Within marine ecosystems, the decline of coral reef populations threatens biodiversity because it disrupts food chains, reduces habitat availability, and destabilizes coastal ecosystems. So in the first topic sentence, example number one, here's how I chose to begin this topic sentence. The decrease of coral reef population. So notice here in this case, the decrease of coral reef populations is coming from the topic of my thesis statement. Not only threatens biodiversity, so bio or threatening biodiversity is coming from the claim, but also disrupts food chains. Disrupts food chains is coming directly from the first key point listed after my subordinated conjunction because. And I'm concluding with the prepositional phrase within certain marine ecosystems, and this is coming from my transition. Remember, transitions are primarily introductory phrases. In this case, I have an example of a prepositional phrase within marine ecosystems. Example number two, a disruption of food chains. So now in this case, my subject or my topic of my topic sentence is coming from the first key point here. Notice that I'm using the noun disruption versus the verb disrupts as it's included here in my yeah. thesis statement. Results from a decline of coral reef population. So a decline of coral reef populations is coming from the topic, which threatens biodiversity. Threatening biodiversity is coming from my claim. And I have the prepositional phrase within marine ecosystems coming from the transition. Example number three, the topic now is a threatened biodiversity. This is coming directly from the claim. Then I have the prepositional phrase among marine ecosystems. This is coming from the transition. Stems from a disruption of food chains. This is coming from my first key point. And I, I, I conclude with a prepositional phrase within declining coral reef populations that's coming from the topic of the thesis statement. The final example, my subject is marine ecosystems. This is coming now from the transition. Experience a threatened biodiversity. This is coming from the claim. From disruptive food chains. This is coming from the first key point. Notice I'm using the adjective form disruptive versus the verb form disrupts. And then I conclude again with a prepositional phrase like in example three within declining coral reef populations. This is coming from the topic of the thesis statement. So notice here I'm using different phrases, different clauses. I have chosen a different subject to begin each of my topic, my first topic sentences here. And notice that I'm beginning each of my examples with the main clause. So I'm not beginning with the transition for the for the topic sentence. I'm trying to choose my verbs carefully so that I'm avoiding copula verbs or linking verbs. And in this case, the decrease we, we have here threatens. This is the verb. A disruption results. So results is my verb. A threatened biodiversity stems is my verb. And marine systems, the verb experience is used. So I'm trying to avoid any kind of copula verbs, especially being careful with the verb to be in, as, a, as the main verb in the main clause. And again, I'm trying to begin with the, the main clause to begin the topic sentence instead of any kind of transition. So I hope this helps. This is what we'll be working on in class, trying to find ways or alternatives to create a topic sentence related to our thesis statement. Notice that in each of my examples of my first topic sentence that I did not mention 
the second and third point that is listed here at the end of my thesis statement. These will come later in uh, the second topic sentence and then third topic sentence to, uh, to develop the second and third body paragraphs.